Okay, let's do some problems. We're going to be using the intersecting secant theorem on this. We've got three problems up here. Uh, so let's, I think you'll recognize them. Let's do this. Intersecting secant theorem says this portion times this portion is equal to this portion times this portion. Dum, 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 dum. Just cross yourself, okay? Da, 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 da. So 2 times x, so that's 2x equals 3 times 6. 2x equals 18, x equals 9. Okay? Let's go to this next one. This times this, this portion times this portion equals this portion times this portion. And this one's a little bit tricky. Why? Because we think this is 2 times 10, but it's not just 2 times 10. Why? Because this whole portion here has been left out. Okay? So we know x times x is no big deal. This whole thing here, okay, let's look at it. This whole thing here is 10, okay? We got 2 out, so that means this portion right here is 8. Okay? All right? So this times this, which this whole thing here, we add those two up, that whole thing is 18. So 2 times 18 is equal to x times x. All right? You understand? This piece right here is just the radius. This whole thing is 10. We've taken 2 off, so that leaves 8. So we're looking at this piece being 18, and this is that, okay? So this is going to end up x times x is x squared equals 2 times 18 Okay, so x squared equals 36, x equals 6. Okay, pretty simple. All right, now, this right here, anytime you've got this center right there, we know we've got radius and diameters going on, radii and diameters going on. So if this is 5, this must be 5. And, wow, this must be 5. Okay, see if you can figure out a really short way of doing this. And so we're going to end up with 5 times 5 equals 5 times x plus 2. So 25 equals 5x plus 10. We're going to subtract the 10, so 15 equals 5x divided by 5. And you get x equals 3. Now, there is a much quicker way to do that. Since we know all those segments are radii of that circle, the all radii of the same circle must be congruent. Therefore, they must have the same measure. So therefore, this radii must have the same measure as this radii. So we can just simply say x plus 2 equals 5. x equals 3. Now, I'm all for doing hard math. Don't have any problem doing it if I have to. We will be doing some more difficult math here in the next section. But on this one, this would be pretty simple. We don't even have to invoke that intersecting sequence theorem stuff. All right, so look for the simple solution sometime. Look at the center one. It's a little bit confusing. Look at it very carefully. Don't leave out that portion of the radii that is radius. That is uh, below that intersecting chord there. Okay, let's look at uh, these using this other two theorems and go from there. We're going to talk, talk about this one. We're going to use the tangent and secant segment theorem. Remember that? It says the square of the tangent is equal to the entire... Okay, the entire thing times the external portion. So let's put this together. Let's add this whole thing up. This whole thing here is 9 plus 5x, isn't it? So we want 9 plus 5x. And we're going to multiply it times its external portion. Okay, so that's going to be 9. 
And then that's going to equal the square of this thing here. So that'd be 13 squared. Okay? All right? So let's distribute this. 9 times 9. You understand? This is the exterior portion. This is the entire secant here, the entire length of that secant. This is only the exterior portion times the entire length. 9 plus 5x, not times. 9 plus 5x, okay? You got that? So this right here, let's distribute. 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 5x plus 45x equals 13 squared is 169. Okay? So when we do that, let's subtract this from both sides. Minus 81. Come across, we have 45x. That goes to 0 equals, what, 88, I think that's correct, isn't it, and if you do that, I think you'll find that, x equals almost 2, it's 1.96, okay, x equals 1.96, alright, using tangent and secant segment theorem. Now this one, using the secant segment theorem, it's fairly simple. We're going to take this entire thing times the exterior portion, this entire thing times the exterior portion. Well, what's this? 16 plus 26 equals 42. This entire thing is 18 plus x. Okay, so let's start there. Take the exterior portion times the whole thing. Okay, the exterior portion times the whole thing equals the exterior portion times the whole thing times 42. Okay? What do we get on this? Oh, we get 324 plus 18x equals. 672. We're going to subtract the 324 from both sides. 324. We're left with 18x equals 12 minus 4 would be 8. 6 minus 2 is 4. And 3 minus 6 minus 3 is 348. And when we do that, little baby, we, we divide by 18. I think you'll find that x is equal to 19.3, repeating on the 3. Okay? So this answer is right here. This answer is right there. Okay? x equals that. Okay? Now let's look at this one. A couple things we need to know. This is a radius, well, so is this, right? So that means that's got to be 6. Okay? And this whole thing here is 12. Alright? <coughs> so we have a tangent over here. We have 8 squared. And then we have this whole thing, which is going to be x plus 12. So let's start with that. x plus 12, and then we're going to multiply it times its exterior portion, which is going to be x out there. Oh man, looks like a quadratic equation, doesn't it? And then all that's going to be equal to the tangent squared. Tangent squared would be 8 squared. Okay, so we've got that set up. We've got the exterior portion of our secant times the entire secant, x plus 12, the entire secant, Okay, so this is going to be x squared plus 12x equals 64. Okay? Alright, let's get that into quadratic form that we can put in our calculator. 12x minus 64 equals 0. And I believe when you do that, find that it uh, looks something like this, x plus 16 times x minus 4 equals 0. 
what are our x's? Here x equals minus 16. Here x equals 4. We're interested in this one since we need the positive one. And so we've got x equals 4 off of this. Okay? Alright. Got some samples there. Just sort of touch the tip of the iceberg on this. Uh, the algebra can get quite uh, challenging and enlightening. Uh, exciting, you might say. Uh, you will we'll need to get your calculator out and, and put it to work. Uh, learn how to use that trace and calc function, calculate your zeros, calculate your zeros on those and see what you get. Special segments in a circle.